Hey guys, it's going to Jason here. For today's video, we're going to be using the internet. Lidlup. I can't French apparently. But yeah guys, if you don't already know, some universities like to keep confession pages. Like mine for example, UBC Confession. Look at that one right here. But yeah, uh, some of them like to keep confession pages. Some people just post like the weirdest stuff. So in today's video, I'm, I'm going to be showing you guys into the real world. That's my school, so I'm, I'm going to be reading off some of the weird shit that happens at UBC. This is going to pop up right here. Let's go! So we, we, got, we got a spicy one here, guys. I still can't believe I actually fell in love with my math professor from the first year. He is so mature and knowledgeable that it makes him irresistible to me. I started sitting at the front of the lecture in order to admire his distinguished features more closely and of course, to get his attention. Yo, first row kids, we know, we, we know what's up, we know what's We see you, first row kids. Since then, I've always went to his office hours to ask a little bit of math questions and to know more about his private life. Found out that he has a wife and kids, well, no shit. I've always been called hot and attractive throughout high school, but for some reason, I just didn't attract the people my age. And then, who the fuck is calling you hot throughout high school? The people in high school are all of your age, unless you're getting hit on by like, your freaking 35 year old math professor. Just fucking continue reading. As time goes, he starts flirting with me and told me that I have beautiful blue eyes, nice hair, etc. At that point, I can assure we are both interested at each other, and we started chatting privately on texts even after the semester ends. One night, he said he would give me a ride home as he only lives 10 minutes away from my house. At the end of the ride, he started kissing me in the- what the fuck? Holy shit! He started kissing me in his car, but I didn't use this as that's what I've been dreaming for. However, I feel a bit guilty after as he's not out of the closet and I don't see him for a super <gasps> What the he as he's not out of the closet <laughs> It's opium guy! Jesus! He's he's not out of the closet and I don't see him for a super future since he has a wife and kill! That's a spicy meme! I didn't think Yo, I didn't think it'd be that bad until, until I read, you know, until we got to the, to the, you know, drove me home and kissed me part, you know. On, on to the next one. <laughs> Number 3533. Three, three. I'm a tutor for the, <laughs> for the AMS, AMS or Student Association. And I enjoy watching students fail more than I enjoy seeing them finally understand something. The majority of the students that I work with are lazy and have such a bad attitude towards learning that they deserve to fail. <laughs> Michael E writes, That's like saying you're a doctor and you enjoy watching your patients die because they're unhealthy and don't deserve to live. <laughs> 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 but 3523, there's this guy in my class and I think he's super cute, but he always sits next to this girl. I don't know if they're dating or something, but I'm so sad. I just want to sit next to him or talk to him in class, but he has a whole group of friends. He has a huge group of friends, and they all sit together except we do group work in that class, and one of his friends got put into our group, and he probably talks shit about us for being dumb because we don't know what to do in class. I think he's super cute, and I want to sit next to him, or like, be friends with him, but I think it's so hard, especially when he has so many friends in that class, and we're different faculties. You know, guys have to deal with this a lot, you know? You know, girl, if, if, if OP is a girl, at the end of the day, you're just gonna walk up to him and be like, Hey, yo, boy. You getting that pussy mouse? <laughs> Number 3519. I feel like a terrible person as I'm writing this, but my boyfriend is a tiny dick. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go so well. I like him a lot, he's a really good guy, but that dick, though. <laughs> I felt like I'm out the other day, and I could not tell if he was hard or not because his dick was just literally strip sized. He makes us happy on tape and look good. <gasps> All the shade! Number 3511. I don't know which one's more lucid, a 4.0 GPA or my girlfriend's G spot. Jimmy Who writes, probably 4.0. You just suck at sex. Word Cotter says, 10 bucks, this is a boyfriend of confession. 3511! <laughs> Number 3496. I just heard a guy behind me in line say, he's pretty cute and all, but she has really small boobs, so I don't know about some girl. Like, more than half of you dumbass guys have shrimp sized dicks, so I don't know. Kenny Chang writes, so you tried half of them, huh? 
Sam Shastri just puts down a picture of a shrimp. <laughs> there were three 449 rides. I got really lucky this year. I came to this school not knowing anyone, and I got put in a shared room. I was worried that I wouldn't get along with my assigned roommate, but it's been the total opposite. She's so sweet, and we slowly got to know each other really well, and now we can fight in each other a lot. I think I'm falling in love with her, but I haven't told anyone I have feelings for girls. Anyway, she has this electric toothbrush, the kind with the rotating end. Sometimes when she's gone, I feel the need to be close with to her. I take her toothbrush and just give myself a little pleasure. The spinning end really brings me home. Jesus Christ. I'm sure many of you will understand, but love isn't always meant to be understood. What I feel for her is just a luxury. <laughs> UBC Confessions Admins post! <laughs> What is wrong with the school of UBC? This has been Shara Chip. That has been UBC Confessions. If you like the weird stuff that goes on there, feel free to give them a like. They post them every day. <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys in two weeks. Stay frosty.